everyone, and we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. Due to special nighttime security measures, movement within seconds within seconds seven and nine is restricted. Oh, right, I have to go this way. <laughs> Obviously. What if I don't want to evacuate? What if I want to fight the Gnosis? Because I'm obviously going to have to fight the fucking Gnosis. Oh shit. Going to have to fight the Gnosis. See, because that's where we wanted to get. Because that was Cosmos' room. Nope, we're going down. Come on, Miyuki. The elevator went past our floor. Uh oh. What? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Poor Miyuki. I why? You messed up again, didn't you? Oh my god, stop blaming everything on Miyuki, Shion. I swear to god. <laughs> no, I couldn't have. I checked it. Really, I did. This isn't her fault. Thank you, Jin. Somebody's on Miyuki's side. Somewhere by someone or something. I wonder what it could be. Maybe they want us to steal Cosmos. Maybe it's all part of the plan. What do you mean? Where does this elevator go? Oh, it's um. Uh, if we keep going down this way, we should end up at a large underground hangar. So something's down there, then, huh? Probably the Gnosis. <sighs> Or a trash dump that has Cosmos in it. Or Hey, look at that. It's Omega. That's <laughs> It's Omega. Omega. That thing's enormous. You don't say. What the hell is my idiot father planning to do with that thing? You don't want to know, Ju. I mean, you're going to find out, but you don't want to know. <laughs> It's been so long since I've played this game. Half of these cutscenes I don't remember. I. Uh oh! And Pat, this is not the time, Shion. Chief! I'm fine. I just felt a little dizzy, that's all. Maybe mm -hmm. you haven't completely recovered yet. Obviously not! I'm Ow. fine. No, you're not. <laughs> it's nothing, really. Uh huh. Chief. It's okay. I'm just a little lightheaded. <sighs> Passes out. Uh huh. Hi, Abel. <laughs> How you doing, Abel? That boy. You creepy That's mother trucker. Abel. You don't say. You're able, right? Sad being this way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Starts off calling her sad being. You're so Abel, I like Abel. Abel's good people. Who's that kid? You know him? Don't worry about it. No, but Yuli said he's an invaluable member of the Zohar project. Also, he is a direct reference to Xenogears. In both his appearance, his name, and everything else. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to tell you earlier, but he's the pilot of Omega. <laughs> the kid is he the lives pilot. In this facility. You see him around CR a lot. That boy is Omega's pilot? Yep. But why is he here by himself? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Maybe it's a trap. Potentially. Who would do that? And more importantly, why? And who does he mean by sad being? You. Obviously, Shion. <laughs> Obviously. Maybe he's trying to lead us to Cosmos. Actually, accurate. <laughs> so, you want to follow him? You don't really have a choice at this point. You can't go back the way you came. Um, I don't understand any of what you just said. What's going on? <laughs> Poor Miyuki. <gasps> yeah, there's no point in staying here. And hey, Shion ignores wait, her. Shion! <sighs> Shion, you are a terrible person in this game. <laughs> But it's okay, we almost have my girl Cosmos. And then I can never have you in the party again. Except for, I think, the one time that you required in the party. One or two. Something like that. I. I wonder what's over here. Let's follow the dude. Oh, this is gonna end well. <laughs> We're going to the trash dump. Trash. Oh, fuck. Well, that's bad. 
going to the trash dump. Trash dump. Dooby 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 trash dump. Trash dump. Trash dump. What are we going to find here? Alan's going to fall down. That tracks. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Alan? He tripped! Are you alright? Oh, that hurt. Hey, what is with the ground here? You're in the trash hey, gee, where you belong. Look! <laughs> with Cosmos! Yep. Cosmos. They put her in the fucking trash. <laughs> Cosmos. Again, does, they do this to does it make any sense? She'd still be useful hey, as an anti-gnosis weapon, even if they canceled the project. They trash a top security unit in a place like this. Exactly! Junior, Junior gets it. Uh, 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 sorry. Chief, it's okay. It seems like there aren't any damages. We can reboot her right away. And also, why would they throw her away like that? You think they'd at least take away her power source. I don't understand. What's this task? Miyuki, can you tell what this is? Uh, beats me, but I think it looks like some kind of feedback from something. I won't be able to tell without an analysis, and we don't have that kind of equipment here for that. All right. Okay. And it'll just have to wait till later. Let's reboot her and get out of here. Miyuki, I'll run a stocking program against that task, so make a record of it. Ask Doctus to analyze it later. There's a secret task in Cosmos' mainframe! <laughs> Come on. Get my baby back. Get my Chief, baby back. I'm going to start her up. Mm, please do. When I originally played this game for the first time, I totally thought that secret task was going to cause Cosmo to immediately attack us when she got booted. <laughs> she was, I thought she was going to be, um, like the task was an evil task and she was possessed and you would have to fight her. I totally thought that was going to happen when I first played this. But nope. <laughs> Good morning, Cosmos. How are you? And good morning to you, Xi'an. No. My drive coefficient is down by 0.3. But everything else is running normal. Again, there why- no problems. Why toss her in the trash heap like that? It doesn't make any fucking sense. Good. I mean- I'm sorry. To be completely Cosmos. honest, I know why they did is it. Is there something wrong? However- <laughs> No. That would be spoilers. It's nothing. Ask me in a later episode. Have... That's all. Logically, it makes zero sense. In hindsight, once you've played the game, it makes perfect sense. But they did it terribly. <laughs> all right then. Again, once you know the whole like grand scheme of the antagonist, you're just like. How the hell did you ever win anything? You're terrible at this. <laughs> we shouldn't stay here long. Let's hurry up and get out. It's like one giant Thanatos gambit yes, is this I entire agree. franchise. <laughs> yeah. Cosmos, can you enter battle mode? Yes. Anytime. Yee, my baby. I got my baby. Yuki, move to backup and support Cosmos during combat. Why? Why do I have to be backup? Because uh, Cosmos is an anti-gnosis humanoid fighting weapon and you're a human techie <laughs> i barely got to fight your job isn't to fight so stop whining yes ma'am again why does miyuki le lend her services to shion when shion treats her like shit consistently like shit in this game i don't think he's she's like ever said one nice thing to her and also <laughs> we have cousins back in the party Cosmos will be my leader forever now. Boop. I will never not have Cosmos. I mean, that's a bullshit lie. Because you spend a quite a bit of this game without Cosmos in the active party for reasons that will become evident later. <laughs> oh, hey! I completely forgot that technically Momo's taller than Junior, especially when he's in a battle pose, so they sort of form like a like a stepladder in height. Um random things that I notice. I like blowing things up. Oh. <laughs> that tracks. 
Okay. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen here, right? I think we can use this. Mm, you sure that's gonna end all chaos? One sec. Why are we letting Junior look at it? He has a tendency. Yeah, it's connected to the exercise area. Because <laughs> we're not gonna have a boss fight in the exercise area, no. Also, why are we letting Junior look at the stuff? He tends to shoot electronics. <laughs> First game, anyone? And passes out. Shira, Damn it! Are you all right? You don't look well. She's dying, Jin. Call a doctor. <laughs> it's nothing. I'm fine. No, you're not. Good night. <laughs> she on. Huh? Again, very irresponsible of them to take her on this mission anyway. I know she's like Cosmos' mom sister thing, but case in point. <laughs> very irresponsible of them. Uh oh. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> she on. Is that you calling me again? Who are you? Oh, well, you can see the obvious imprint of Abel. Even better now because I'm playing it on an emulator. <laughs> what do you seek? I <laughs> I don't seek anything. I want to know. <laughs> to know you. To know your world. It sounds creepy as fuck. <laughs> you want to know me? Run away, Shion! I want to know you as well. Tell me, who are you? A little bit of emulator lag on this scene, universe. probably because of all the swirly, swirly, swirlies in the background. <laughs> you identify me as... Udu. Udu! <laughs> You're... Udu? What do you desire? From the world. I. <laughs> Is that you, God? <laughs> no, seriously, it's God. Well, sort of. It's complicated. Chief! Irresponsible of them to take her along. Sheon! Thank goodness. She's obviously ill. And Jin Chief? knows what's up. Because he's seen this shit before. But he won't say shit to no one. <laughs> what? Why am I... What happened? Does Cosmos have nothing to say about any of this? Where is she? <laughs> are you really okay? <laughs> like, she's the only one who's not on screen. Her and Miyuki are the only two who aren't on screen right now. Okay, and Ziggy, I guess. There's three of them. <gasps> yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm okay now. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Bald-faced liar. <laughs> Again, we're lucky the junior didn't shoot the switch or something. Because he, you know, tends to do that. Oh good, a save point! Right before the obvious boss fight. Like seriously, we're going to the exercise area where we saw a whole bunch of people fighting each other during the um, exercise of Telos and Cosmos and Omega. And there's a giant noses on the loose. A giant obvious boss fight on the loose. <laughs> We're obviously gonna have a boss fight. <laughs> Not a matter of if, it is a matter of when. And the when is uh, right the fuck now, I believe. Uh, uh, I'm being chased. I'm being chased. I'm being chased. I'm being chased! I'm being chased! <laughs> well, that's not very nice. <laughs> uh. Yes. Bonk. Okay, you can't do shit. Oh. Yeah, you can't do shit. <laughs> Attack. And you, thankfully, have fireball. Oh, well, that wasn't very nice. Uh, these things are hard to break, aren't they? That'll do. This one have a lot of hit points. Uh, die, please! 
No dead? God damn it. Wait, he has to be to fire, right? Yes, because triangle means strong and circle means weak. Okay, I guess he just has really high defense. Die, please. <laughs> All systems functioning normally. Goddamn right there. It's because you're awesome. Run! Are they gonna make you fight all of them? <laughs> well, this is rather rude of them. Okay, I don't have anything that's thunder based. Sure. Oh! Okay, I, I did the second eggs unit and got back to here, and now they're all gone! I didn't kill all of them, I only killed two. <laughs> <laughs> Way to pose, Junior. And there's the obvious boss fight. Sup? My name is Scarlet. Prepare to be murdered horrifically. <laughs> Even though I'm gonna cut out most of the boss fight because I always cut out most of the fights. Because I have a really hard time commentating over those. Hey, Junior. Potentially gonna finish him off? <laughs> Potentially? There he goes. Cool. <laughs> Got a little dicey once or twice, but... Ooh! We got a new tech attack. Excellent. Anything for Cosmos. <laughs> hey look, it's a, it's an obvious monster. Don't- Jeez, what the hell is the military thinking? Keeping things like that around! Don't turn your fucking back on a Gnosis, Junior. Remember- yes. It's definitely not an admirable hobby. They're supposed to turn to salt and vanish if they're brought into the real world when they're actually dead. That thing's still there. <laughs> anyway, it looks like everyone's okay. Don't turn your back on the noses. Well, we were able to recover Cosmos. Uh, don't count your eggs before you've hatched. You haven't left the place yet. You're still breaking and entering, Alan. <laughs> then there's no reason for us to stay here. Then stop talking next to the not-dead corpse. Let's return to the Durandal and hurry to the Elsa's rescue. Yes. Yeah. Wait, seriously? Oh, okay. I was totally expecting the, uh, expecting it to just get up and grab Shion or something. Stage two. And also, way to not show us how the hell they got out of there without getting caught by any of the military personnel getting in trouble at all or having a bajillion people chasing them. You're in space. Why are you in space? You can't breathe in there. <laughs> so, what are you going to do with them? Are we just going to let them go? Uh-huh. That's a foolish question. As we've observed, the compass swings sharply when Xion comes into contact with Cosmos. The 13th key. Even without our intervention, they will reach that location. Mm-hmm. I guess everything follows the destined flow, huh? Yeah, they totally threw Cosmos into that trash heap on purpose in order to get Xion to go rescue her to strengthen the bond that Xion has with Cosmos for reasons. <laughs> Don't tell me you knew this was going to happen from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Ooh, scary, scary. You're still breathing in space. I mean, I have issues with this. <laughs> I mean, we've seen the Testaments do it before, but is Roth one of the Testaments? He's one of the testaments. <laughs> Save the game? No. Yes. Cause I'm a compulsive saver. Herby derby 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 derb. Um, which one is? Oh, it's this one. I'm not gonna fuck up my saving this time. It's not gonna happen. Ayo, <laughs> hey end of chapter two. Gedalia space. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> There's no sis! Oh my god! Also, I don't think they explain how everybody got the their hands on the ESP. Right? Damn, you're kidding! Touch that and say goodbye, huh? Oh, it's a cathedral ship! Why are they here? You didn't question that when you first got here and they showed up originally? No time. <laughs> Head straight for the coordinates. I got it. Are you ready, Cosmos? <laughs> She's just chilling. <laughs> She's chilling on Xion's head. <laughs> and now we get to see something I would love to cosplay. Complete. God, I would love to cosplay this. 
I, I mean, I want to cosplay Keep every single range. outfit of Do it Moses. But. Acknowledged. Yep. Cosmos is a badass! Do it again! <laughs> what the hell? What's going on? Oh no! Even Cosmos can't disturb it! Chief, maybe this is beyond us. Do it again! Just believe in Cosmos. It's alright. I know that she'll be able to do it. Setting weapon deployment to maximum output. I don't think they explained how they managed to get the tertiary weapon system. Like, they did- I mean, they obviously got it from Miyuki. But did Miyuki steal it? <laughs> we only saw them steal Cosmos. We didn't see them steal the tertiary weapon system. <laughs> there we go. And we broke it. We broke Cosmos. Oh, yeah! We're going in! And now you're trapped. Good job. <laughs> now all four of them are trapped. <laughs> ES craft have penetrated the hypersphere. The surface fissure is closed. And the thing that they need to break back through... The the surrounding space has disappeared. And the tertiary weapon system is broken, so they don't have anything that can break through the climb point again. I mean, they obviously get out, but the fact that they all went in there knowing they wouldn't be able to leave... <laughs> not very intelligent. All lost from radar. All communications are cut off. All right, they've made it through. Now how are they gonna get back? <laughs> it's too early to celebrate. The Gnosis probably vanished in order to pursue them. The real challenge starts now. I'm sure they'll manage. Sure. Sure they will. We just have to believe in them. Again with this belief thing. <laughs> belief doesn't mean much if everything's dead. Tally? You sure are. Hold up. My rabbit was um, tearing up a piece of carpet. Don't you join him, Garrus. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I just had a stare down with one of my rabbits. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you. Okay, I have to be professional now. Can I, can I play? Or are you guys gonna keep tearing up all of my stuff? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm infatuated with her. Is it regret from the time when you still wore a mantle of flesh? Gross. Or is it because of ambition you still hold? <laughs> so now you're going to use the daughter in place of the imperfect mother? The maiden who invites the spreading gnosis? You're one heartless bastard. And it's not like you don't know what this is going to cause. It is necessary for the new world. Cryptic, 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 is your cryptic, cloak cryptic. Just a decoration? Yes. <laughs> hmm. I don't like the idea of that thing as the womb, but whatever. Cryptic, 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 cryptic. They cannot speak straight. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. We just need to destroy Cosmos, right? It is beyond your power. The only one who can destroy Cosmos is Telos. And he made Telos. So I guess my job is to attend to the princess's little whims. Works for me. I'll lead the entourage. <laughs> okay. This is gonna end well. And, you know, it's the main character. We all know nothing's gonna happen to Cosmos. Show? Nothing permanent is gonna happen to Cosmos. Temperature, 18 degrees Celsius. Pressure, 0.94. Wind speed at landing point is 20 meters per second. 
Atmosphere is 77% nitrogen, 20% oxygen with traces of argon and carbon dioxide. It's Earth. The air is breathable. What's the Elsa's position? Can we get in touch with the crew? There's a response on the underside of the object. I'm opening the channel. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here! Aww. Little master, thank God you're here! Out of the way! Can't believe you're getting all excited just because they showed up. Yeah, it's not like they can get back out again. <laughs> you guys sound like you're doing just fine. Of course. You can't run a salvage business if you let every little setback get you down. Salvage. <laughs> Looks like there's a couple of exceptions to that rule. Just a couple. Hey, and by a couple, we mean a lot. goofing around and get to your posts. <laughs> We're on our way there now. Get the hangar ready for us. Roger. We'll be oh, hey, the Elsa's right there. <laughs> I love how they had. I love how they had to like figure out where the position of the Elsa was. I was like, oh, where is it? You could have just looked to the side. <laughs> I was like, oh, there it is. Can't escape. Why? We haven't got a clue. Hey, Hammer! The logical drive isn't responding at all. There should be nothing wrong with it since it's fully repaired and functioning normally. Uh-oh. Anyway, I haven't got a clue. Something's keeping it grounded. If the logical drive isn't working, there's nothing we can do. Yes, as things are now, the environmental bugs will run out of resources first. Uh-oh. And then... Will eventually run out of water and oxygen. You're on an entire section of a planet that probably has like rivers and obviously it has trees, it has wildlife. You can fucking figure it out. <laughs> Professor? Something in this strange land must be affecting it. We'll have to go out and have a look. Not Are you. you. Certain that something in this land is causing it? It's impossible to be sure. But I think it's worth investigating. Gotcha! Captain, get things ready so you can launch at any time. Don't worry, we'll have you out of here in no time. Sure. It's not like most of the game takes place on Renless Chateau. Or I guess technically the place that's inside Renless Chateau. It, it's complicated. <laughs> it's just a great long portion of the game takes place in here. Makes me a little sad though, because they're gonna take away Cosmos for a while. But that's spoilers. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's the bunny! I haven't seen the bunny in ages. I can't remember the bunny being an important thing in number two, but it was an important thing in number one. John, buddy, you're heading out of the ESs, man. They need to make sure your ESs are ready. I know. I'll give you one of my ES generators. Yay. Cool. You can make ESs really powerful. You can hook up a bio, blah 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 blah. Cool. Heard that the shop here is blah 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 blah. <laughs> I'll tell you the secrets of those three plates. Oh wait, no, why did I do this? Um, bye. <laughs> I already know this shit. So now we can talk a lot better now. Yeah, blue is... No. Green is the EVS plate, which lets you go to previous areas. In the virtual world, this is a shop plate, and this is a safe plate. <laughs> if I remember correctly. <laughs> But anyway, that's going to be it for this video, you guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. We finally have gameplay! <laughs> I'll see you all in the next video.